Yo guys, welcome back to another video, wherever you are, special greetings to you. And don't forget, if today is your first time, please do me a favor by subscribing to the channel. Also, don't forget to hit on the notification bell whenever you draw video, you can also get it and watch. In today's video, we are going to be looking at how one Nigerian man has been arrested in Ghana for acquiring Ghanaian passport. Niger has won in their first democratic elected president and the president of Rwanda has blast African leaders. So guys, without wasting much time let's do this thing together if today is your first time this channel is all about news and entertainment in today's video as i said before we are going to be looking at how one nigerian man has been arrested for acquiring Ghanaian passport this nigerian man is based in spain he decided to change his nationality so he decided to have Ghanaian passport so he went to nigeria for holidays and the passport got missing so he decided to go to ghana to acquire for the passport or to ask for the passport that has been got that has been lost so guys do due to the process when this man was asking for this passport they did him some investigation to know uh, that this man is not from ghana but he is originated from nigeria the article is here let me just read everything for you guys so that each and everyone will know how this thing happened it's, it will not be that i am the one reporting this thing because sometimes if you say something about nigeria some of this our nigerian brothers will come to the comment section and we will be saying don't be talking of nigeria don't be saying this thing about nigeria but the thing happens it's not that i'll just go and then i'll be painting nigeria black we are not here to paint any country black we are all africans and one love but if there is something we need to share it so that our brothers who are also doing it will learn from it so if you are saying something or if you are giving information or update or news about nigeria it doesn't mean that we are painting the country black or we don't like the country at the end of the day we are all one africa and one love so this is how the thing happened they said nigerian man iyamu arrested for acquiring ghanaian passport they said the prosecution said investigations at the GIS, that is Ghana Immigration Service Headquarters, revealed that the convict was a Nigerian whose real name is Eugene Wisdom Iyamu and not Anthony Kwate as he claimed. So he decided to change his name from Nigerian name to Ghana name, which he was owing uh, Anthony Kwate. So Anthony Kwate was the name that was on his passport as a Ghanaian. Meanwhile, he is a Nigerian. He said the Kaneshi District Court has ordered the repatriation of a 28 year of a 28 year old Nigerian for illegally obtaining a Ghanaian passport and birth certificate after paying various court fines. They said Iamu, aka Anthony Kwate, uh, had secured a Ghanaian passport in Spain through a friend, but the passport got missing when he visited Nigeria. His bid to secure a new Ghanaian passport in Accra, the Ghana Immigration Service, which is GIS, officials arrested him when he appeared to go through process at the passport application center at the Kwame Nkrumah Circle, that is Accra. They said Iyamu pleaded guilty to illegal entry, attempting to obtain a Ghanaian passport and possession and use of a Ghanaian birth certificate. The court preceded over by Ama Adomako Kwache convicted him on all three charges on the change of illegal entry. The court ordered Iyamu to pay a fine of 840 Ghana City in a default and served two weeks imprisonment. The court ordered him to pay 960 Ghana cities in default and served two weeks imprisonment on the charge of attempting to obtain a Ghanaian passport for possession and use of false certificate to with Ghanaian birth certificate. The court further ordered Iyamu to pay 840 Ghana cities or in default serve two weeks imprisonment. The sentence, however, will return concurrently narrating the fact of the case in court chief superintendent of gis mr adolf asenso abuaji said iamu submitted a Ghanaian passport application with a Ghana's birth certificate and a Ghanaian passport a number gt 2038555 which he claimed was missing chief superintendent asenso abuaji said the convict also added a police report to the documents 
Asensu Obwaji said officials at the park adopted his nationality and referred the matter to the GIS for a further investigations. They said the prosecution said investigations at the GIS headquarters revealed that the convict was a Nigerian whose real name is Rujin Wisdom Iyamu and not Anthony Kwate as he claimed. According to the prosecution, Iyamu was born at Agbo in the Delta State and came to Ghana through an unapproved route at Ghana's eastern border, Aflao. The prosecution said Iyamu in his statement said he obtained Ghana's passport and birth certificate whilst he was in Spain through a friend. They said Iyamu said he managed to return to Nigeria on holidays, but his Ghanaian passport got missing. So he decided to procure a new Ghanaian passport. The prosecution said Iyamu was then introduced to one Joe in Takuradi who charged him 2000 for a Ghana passport. Joy FM of Ghana reports. So this is how the reports go. The person who uh, tried to do this passport for this our brother decided to charge him 2000 Ghana CD so that he can do the passport for this guy. So this is what happened. A lot of Nigerians in Europe claim to be Ghanaians. Meanwhile, they are not Ghanaians. Some of them, you will meet them and you ask them, where are they from? They will say they are from Ghana. If you start speaking to with them, they cannot reply. You. So in the process, they started asking this guy, they tried to speak in tree, they tried to ask him some questions in tree, and this guy started speaking another thing. He did not understand what they were saying, and they needed to catch this guy. Yeah, so this is what happened to one of our brother who tried to change his nationality from Nigerian to Ghanaian. So uh, this will be a lesson to Nigerians who have changed their nationality to Ghanaian. If you are holding the passport already, you have to hold it well because if it's lost and you go back to Ghana to, I mean, to change it, it will be a problem for you. So this is what is coming from the side of Ghana as one Nigerian changed his nationality to Ghana. Having the passport in the process, the passport got lost. He decided to go back to Ghana to do a new passport and he got caught. So now let's move on to the next story. EJ has sworn in their first elected democratic president who is Mohamed Bazoum. Mohamed Bazoum happens to be the first elected democratic president of the Republic of Niger. And people of Niger are very happy now that they have a democratic government you know niger is also one of the poorest country in africa and they are saying this man should try to fight the poverty of the country he should try to fight the poverty of the country and also try to give security for the country as the attack of boko haram is also happening in niger so this man should try to work hard and achieve the goals of Niger so that the people of Niger will also be happy that they have elected or they have gotten a president who will be democratic or they have gotten a democratic government. So they have sworn in this Mohamed Bazoum who happens to be the first elected democratic president of Niger. So guys, let's go and watch the video. When we are back, we will give you the rest of the update. So stay tuned. After a decade in the shadows of his predecessor, Mohamed Bazoum emerged as Niger's fifth democratically elected president. The day was also a historic one for the country. It marked the first peaceful transition of power from one civilian government to another. The ceremony was overshadowed by a recent failed coup and rising attacks by armed groups along its borders. Factors many here hope he will use his experience as former head of both the foreign and interior ministries to resolve. The most important is security. People of Niger are desperate for security. Second to that is good governance and finally equity and justice. But above all, the depoliticalization of governance, which is very important. We hope the president will appoint the right people in the right positions, devoid of partisanship. But some believe that Niger politics and politicians will limit his ability to deliver real change. For Bazoum Mohamed, the hard work begins now. He will need to unite a deeply divided nation whose stability is once again threatened by Wednesday's failed coup. But the president can count on global support, judging from reactions on the failed coup. However, the biggest challenge to his presidency is not only having to deal with ambitious military officers, but also the threat posed by Boko Haram and armed groups based in neighboring Mali. A reality not lost on Mr. Bazoum as he rose to give his first address as president. 
For a long time, the criminals of the Islamic State in the Greater Sahara who are affiliated to Daesh almost exclusively attack the defense and security forces. But for some time, they've begun to attack village chiefs and then progressively civilians in an indiscriminate manner. Since last January, they've been carrying out massacres of innocent civilians on a large scale, thereby committing war crimes. Terrorism is a misfortune for our country. For his predecessor, Mohammed Isifu, it was a moment of fulfillment, offering democratic hope. For much of the country, though, the joy of this day will only be shared if Mohammed Bazoum is able to bring stability and development to Niger. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, Niamey. I hope you have seen the video that is how the first elected democratic president Mohamed Bazoum has been sworn in as the new president of Republic of Niger. And now let's move on to the next story. The president of Rwanda has blast African leaders. This man is saying why is it that African leaders anytime they have problems they will try to go to the west. They will try and go to the west to share the problems to the west. Meanwhile they can share the problem within they are safe. Them, the African leaders, can come together and share the problems and then at the end of the day, they can solve the problem together. But why is it that if they have problems, they will try to go to maybe France just in the name that the president want the African president want them to see that he is sitting with the president of France or sitting with the president of Italy or the president of Spain. This man is saying it doesn't make sense. If we African leaders we want to come together and achieve what we want to achieve, we can achieve it. It's not that any problem. We have to go and share it to them so that they will know our problem and then at the end of the day they will not come and help us. Why is it that if we share it in Africa and we get solution to it, is it not better that we have to go to the west to share our problem even if we are sick we have to go to the west meanwhile we have some doctors that we have we have sent them out there to go and study and they came back so why what is the extent of sending that doctors to go outside it and study and now if they come they are not able to treat us if we african leaders are sick we have to go to the West to treat ourselves. Guys, guys, this is crazy because some African leaders are very talented. They have the knowledge to solve problems. But some of these, our African leaders, immediately they have problems. They will just go and take flight per West. They go to France. They go to Germany. They go to Spain. They go to Switzerland. They will go and share their problems to them. At the end of the day, they will not come and help you. So this is what this man is telling African leaders to come together. If they have problems, they should try to share it within their self. So that if there is anything, they can solve it together. It's not that every time you take plane, pa West, you take plane, pa Europe. This is what this man is saying. And let's go and watch what he said. When we are back, we will give you the rest of the update. So stay tuned. For me, when I'm watching on television, and I find our leaders, who should have been working together all along to address these problems that commonly affect their countries, wait until they are invited to go to Europe <laughs> to sit there and, 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 and just... You know, it's like they are made to sit down and address their problems. Why does anybody wait for that? What image does it even give about us, about Africa? In fact, the image it gives is that we are not there to even address these problems. We are there for a photo opportunity. We are happy to sit there in Paris with the president of France and address and just talk about addressing problems. <laughs> it doesn't make sense that our leaders cannot get themselves together to address problems affecting our people. It doesn't make sense. Of course, I'm saying this painfully on the other hand that uh, well, I, I look forward for the time when I can be like the two former presidents. I think they are more free to say things than I do. <laughs> being where they are and me being where I am. So I tend to remain with some reservations about what I have to say because uh, but I think there is that serious problem 
African leaders, we don't need to be invited anywhere to go and address our problems without first inviting ourselves to come together to tell each other the actual truth that we must tell each other about our serious problems. I hope you have seen the video. This is what the president of Rwanda is saying. And let me know what you think about what this man said in the comment section below. This is the update I have for you today. The name series is Official Cracker on YouTube, Official Cracker on Facebook, Official underscore Cracker 1 on Instagram. If you have any question, you can drop it over there. And if we have any reply or any answer, we can give you over there. Till we meet again in the next video, please stay safe and stay blessed. Peace out.